Hey guys, what's up? I'm back and I'm talking with the Falcons again. Week 2. They uh, play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa Bay. Rival game, first uh, conference, first uh, division game of the year. We weren't able to win 20, or 24 to 9. We couldn't get a touchdown all game, as evident by three field goals by Jason Nealon. But we had our chances. All three of the field goals were within 35 yards, so we were definitely in the red zone and we had chances to win or to tie or at least get a touchdown. But uh, the play calling really wasn't that good. We had first and goal from the four or something, and we weren't able to get in. I think they were all pass plays. They didn't even try to run with Michael Turner. I don't know why. But uh, they, they should have ran a little bit. But uh, Turner, Turner didn't have that good of a game. 14 rushes, I think, for 42 yards. Or you know, it was he, he didn't really get the ball that much this time. He only he had like 12 or 8 less than he did last week, so I, I could have definitely hurt him too. But he did get had, kind of injured near the end. He hurt his ankle. Not that big of a problem. He'll be able to play week three. And um, Matt Ryan had two interceptions, his first interception as an NFL starter. That was his first real hard test. Detroit wasn't really that tough of an opponent. And Tampa Bay, just they were way too much for him. I think this is good for him because uh, he can learn, and he's definitely going to be better next time around when we have a tough defense, or next time, at least when we play Tampa Bay again. He's going to know what to expect. He gets sacked, I think, four times. He was hurried a lot. Offensive line didn't do that well. Sam Baker got injured, even though he should be able to play week three too. And they just weren't, wasn't able to. All the people were covered. It was good coverage by the other DBs back there in Tampa Bay. So, but uh, we really couldn't do much. But hopefully this week uh, we can learn from it and do a little bit better against Kansas City, who's not that great of a team. But I think Atlanta definitely had a chance. It was nine to seventeen. We were only down by eight points, but Ernest Graham threw break broke off a huge like six to seven yard touchdown run. That was a dagger in our hearts, obviously. Greasy did a pretty good job for them. He managed the game pretty well in his first start as a Bucks quarterback. I wasn't really expecting him to do as well as he did, but he got the job done. So did Mark Dunn. Mark Dunn had a pretty good game, too. He had a touchdown 17 yards out. But we weren't able to do much with our, our offense. You know, our defense didn't do that bad. Abraham, once again, had a sack and a forced fumble as well. Uh, Jamal Anderson has six tackles. He's fine. He didn't do nothing last week, so it was good to see him actually get in there and make some plays. So hopefully this week against uh, Kansas City, arguably one of the worst teams in the AFC, if not the league, uh, we should be able to get look at a lot of points. We should go back to what we did week one, run the ball with Michael Turner, and just throw when we have to because Ryan really doesn't really have to throw against his defense. I think Michael, Michael Turner should have a big game again, at least over 100 yards. Same with Norwood, he should be able to get a couple of rushes for big gains as well. You never know. And their offense isn't really that good. I don't even know who their quarterback is. Big Pan, I guess he's starting. Larry Johnson, I don't know, he was uh, kind of angry after the game last week after their loss. So I'm not sure how good the offense is going to be against our defense. Hopefully, uh, Joel Anderson and uh, Abraham can get through the, through the offensive line and get some sacks on them. That would be huge for, for our team. We'd definitely be able to come out and be 2 1. Not, it's not that far-fetched. You know, uh, we definitely have a good running game. Our defense is a little bit, is pretty good. I think they've been doing pretty well so far, but you never know, we, as long as we can stay uh, injury-free. And if Lloyd Malloy can uh, stop going to strip clubs and speed and, and uh, he can just play the game well, he already has an interception. I think he led the team to seven tackles this week against Tampa Bay. So if he can keep performing well, if he's even allowed to play this week, uh, that would be huge for our defense. We should definitely be able to come out and uh, give the Kansas City a, a, a run for their money because uh, it's in Atlanta, so that's definitely helping us. And they're just not really doing too good right now. They're obviously in a voting mode as we are, but we're looking a little bit better than they are. So I expect us to come out and get a win, as do, uh, I guess, most Atlanta fans out there. And I would guess everyone else, maybe not Kansas City fans, but uh, teams in other cities would uh, expect that too. So uh, I'll be back after the game. Win or lose, I'll uh, let you know how I feel, how the game went. And after that, I'll be back.